In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have you ever been asked to do something? It can be a common occurrence for those in church communities. Roles, ministries and opportunities for service abound in most of our churches up and down the diocese. And it must be true that at almost any point there are people considering God's call and reflecting upon how they're likely to respond to that. No doubt also there are many others hoping that their latest ideas to encourage the vocation of people in their church communities produces a positive outcome. We'll have to wait and see. For Mary, though, the call from God was to be the mother of Jesus. To be the one whose yes to God and yes to God's call upon her life was to transform the world. In the midst of great challenge and change and in the midst of political and cultural tension, Mary, in saying yes to God's call, placed all the complexity of that era and all the concerns of the establishment into a different context, namely God's mission of love to the world and the invitation remains today for each of us to pay a part in that. We live ourselves in difficult times. There is great uncertainty about which way things might be heading with the pandemic. The global political landscape has many points of tension and we are still struggling to overcome challenges presented by climate change and inequality, as well as grappling with injustice in so many contexts. Altogether, this could at some points start to feel a little overwhelming. We might feel a bit bogged down and therefore be uncertain about what we can do and how we might respond. As we get ever closer to Christmas, in this great season of Advent, we're invited once again to watch and wait with longing and with an eager sense of expectation. This year though, I wonder whether we need to pay particular attention to the example of Mary and her willingness to listen to the call of God upon her life, and to respond with enthusiasm, joy and humility. For Mary, the challenges and difficulties within the society of which she was a part did not prevent her from offering generously, courageously and joyfully in response to God's call. This Advent, we each of us have a great opportunity to reflect on how God may be calling each of us and to respond in a similar way to Mary, holding God's call within the much greater context of his mission of love to the world. As we travel through the pandemic and adapt and change along the way, There will be many opportunities for us to share together in worship, mission, ministry and social action. I hope that as these opportunities emerge for us within our own contexts, we can prayerfully seek to discern God's call and to respond with courage, faith and hope, recognising that it is God who loves the world and it is God who calls us to share in discipled ministry together. This Sunday, there are only five more sleeps until Christmas. Five more days in this Advent season to explore ourselves how we are being called and invited by God to share our own giftedness, experience and enthusiasm, and to reflect on what our own response might be. One of the great challenges of the present moment is how we might begin to respond to the risks we are facing. Many of us have probably had to write risk assessments or be involved in risk registers, especially in this time of COVID. 
I'm not going to suggest that we abandon careful consideration of risk, especially as we work through the implications of the pandemic. What seems to be clear, though, is that Mary, in saying yes to God, took considerable personal risks, but did so mindful of God's greater purposes. She was able to place the complexity of the present moment within her understanding and appreciation of the bigger picture and draw strength and hope through her own faith in God and her experience of his love. I hope that when Christmas comes in a few days' time, we will each have an opportunity to celebrate with family and friends, to reflect on the year that has passed and look forward to what lies ahead, but that we will have also found time to ask ourselves, how is God calling each of us to respond? And then following the example of Mary, to find new ways to say yes to God with hope and joy in our hearts. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.